Hi guys, I'm Jerusha and you're watching Jerusha Couture TV. Yes, I am here today. I have been a little MIA from YouTube. Uh, I have just, it, which is really funny because in October I said I was going to try and film almost every day, kind of like Vlogtober. I tried. It was a good attempt, I feel, and then I kind of completely went MIA for the beginning of November. But I am here today with a video which is good. Uh, Masi, my baby, is with my mum, Nana. It's Nana Day. Uh, so I kind of raced home from dropping him there, waxed some makeup on, and thought I would film for you guys. What I wanted to film is uh, a cool video. I did once see Karis, all we love a CC. Hi, babe. She's my good friend. Do this video a long, long time ago, and I think I might have tried to do it once. Or maybe that's where I got my what how I pack my bag what fits in my bags idea from because she showed how her new iPhone fit in items and I swear this is one of the most asked questions I get is can I fit my iPhone in it can I fit my Samsung Galaxy in it can I fit this can I fit that in all different items so this is my new iPhone 7 plus I went for a plus, I was able to upgrade on my plan and I went for a plus just to try it out. Uh, I had had an iPhone 6, here it is, um, since my last upgrade on my plan. I always upgrade just on my plans. I, I'm not really tech obsessed with Apple in the sense that I have to get the new whatever's come out. I, I just sort of upgrade whenever I can. I thought I'd go for a plus just because better quality, bigger screen, blah 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 and uh, you know, I have a lot of data on my plan being a fashion blogger and whatnot, so having a phone to kind of go with it is good. So here, it, here is the beautiful phone. I opted for the matte black, which was an eight week wait. <laughs> I was kind of like, he was like, is that okay? I, you might be in a rush. I was like, no, no, that's fine. This, this is fine. Um, which is the gold. So this is a gold six and that is the new seven plus next to it. Really, there's no difference in the phones. This apparently is the same size as the 6 Plus now, so it's not like it changed sizes. I think it's just, you can get glossy black, matte black, gold, rose gold, and I think you can get pink now, which is so cute. It's like that um, sort of juicy couture pink, that kind of uh, Hello Kitty pink. It's really pretty. Uh, so these is a comparison. I will say straight up, I always tended and I say tend to try and put a cover on this. I really did. I just prefer it sleeker and slimmer because it fits in so many more uh, luxury accessories without stretching them out and bags and whatnot. And obviously, because that's kind of my gig, I always <laughs> like to have my phone with me. So say for example, in a Chanel walk, it just slips in a lot better. So with this, obviously it is bigger, it is more cumbersome. Uh, but I don't know if I'm going to put a case on it, but I tell you what, I dropped this. <laughs> I've dropped it twice, cracked the phone, cracked the screen, and I've dropped it again, and I've cracked the screen, and it's not cheap to replace it, but anywho, that is the spiel on the phone. So let's go ahead and see what it fits in. I didn't change my screensaver, and it's a picture of my husband and my son, so I can't really show you just due to his privacy. Um, but what's annoying is that when you when you go like that on the 7, it just it shows the desktop to show you the time, which is really handy. So you just kind of go like, you sway it and it just shows you, which is really handy. But again, it has him on it, so we won't show you that. So I've just pulled up my little table that my Birkin sits on behind me, just to show you guys. It's truly the best way to show you what fits in. This is my toiletry 19, uh, toiletry 19 case from Louis Vuitton. It is honestly so amazing. I've raved about it so many times in videos, but if you're looking for a toiletry that's not too big and can fit in bags, this is it. That is my six regular six and it fit down inside there fine with makeup and things like that this is my new seven plus uh, which is the same size as a six plus but let's take a look without probably banging it up i have actually turned it off so it doesn't 
turn on and off. Okay, so it fits nicely in there. Um, I'd probably say I have to move things around. But if you were, I guess, running around and downsizing with some makeup and whatnot, you could fit your phone down inside there. I've got my car key, which you might be able to see as well. And that fits, so that's nice. The pluses fit in that very nicely. This is good for me as well because I don't know what it fits in and out of except watching Karis's video and then obviously I don't really have all the items she has. So of course the ultimate question, does it fit in a wok, um, a, a wallet on chain from Chanel. So in the main pocket, yes it fits, that's fine. Lengthwise, you've got about a quarter of an inch there, uh, but it fits makes it quite heavy compared to my six I guess. Now I used to fit my six also in the small flap just behind the main compartment but I don't think, yeah look see the plus is not going to fit in there. I also would sometimes put it in the zipper and <laughs> it's not going to fit. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh hi surprises, look at that. It does. That's so cool. Oh, that's really good to know. Okay, so you have to turn it on its angle and watch the zipper and put it down from the zipper side open. But it fits. That's really cool. Okay, and the front compartment. Oh, it fits as well. That's good because I put my six in the front there as well sometimes. So that's nice to know. In the Chanel Wok wallet on chain, the iPhone Plus does fit. So this is the 7. The iPhone 7 Plus does fit in the wok. That's really good to know. Okay, and again, for reference, this is fitting it in these items without a case. So, again, there's all different size cases, and it might, you know, be bulky depending on what your case is. I could put a case on it. If I did, I'd probably put a black eye face case on it. They sell those at the Vodafone shop here in Oz, uh, but not like a Lumi case or anything. They're gigantic. I, I just don't like bulky cases. This is my Chanel Jumbo single flap. And in this bag, I usually put my six in the back iconic um, slip pocket. I do. Here is my six and I put it in here. It doesn't stretch it out, no case, and it fits nicely. So, I'm a little concerned, maybe the 7 Plus might, oh, all right, okay, that's not bad, it doesn't stretch it out, that, actually, that's really good, well, that's so good to know, so, again, that is without a case, just, oh, there's a big thunderstorm coming over, so you might hear that over through this video, so that's really good to know, but that's without a case, I'm sure a small case, it'll still fit, and then on the inside, this is the single flap, so we have compartments down inside, not the sort of iconic compartment with the lipstick case and things like that. So I have a, a zip pocket here, I've just put it in there and that fits fine. That fits fine there in the zip pocket and then if I put it in the just the slip leather pocket in front of that, that fits fine as well. Again, this is a single flap, so it's discontinued, but that's good to know. It fits in the jumbo very nicely. Okay, let's do some oldie but goodie bags. Obviously, I'm just going to, I know I've pulled out all my bags before and done all of them, but you know that anything bigger than obviously this or the walk it's going to fit in the plus size so this is a Louis Vuitton Eva clutch if it fits in this it's definitely fitting in a favorite uh, if you have a favorite even the pm size is taller than an Eva an Eva is longer than a favorite but a favorite is way taller and then again with the magnetic flap on a favorite it will definitely work perfectly so here is the seven plus and of course it goes nicely down inside there we can put our keys in we can put what else have we got can we put our wallet I'm currently using my little Chanel zip coin and I love it oh my god I want to rave about that okay so yeah look at that nice so a plus does fit 
very nicely in the Eva clutch. If you wanted to carry it in this toiletry, of course, it's going to fit in the main compartment. This is a toiletry 25. Sorry, mine's so dirty. It fits in a main compartment if you need to throw it in there. And then in the back zipper part, uh, compartment, sorry, of this toiletry, the 7 Plus fits as well nicely of course because of the length 25 centimeters it's fine so that's it in the 25 toiletry 25 from Louis Vuitton I know I did say I won't show you all my bags but I can't help it <laughs> I just want to check I want to see for myself my Chanel Le Boy bag in the old medium size in the calfskin leather with resilient hardware and it has the one compartment pocket down in the side with one slip pocket behind it yep the 7 Plus fits nicely in there and I sometimes slip it. Let's see. Oh, yes. Okay, cool. Fits. That's nice to know. It does fit in that slip. I sometimes slip it in there. My 6 I did, so that's good to know the 7 Plus fits in there too. Okay. <laughs> For the purpose of filming and being here, <laughs> I, I, I just want to see what it fits in. This is my vintage classic double flap in lambskin leather with the gold hardware on it. And I got this pre-loved and I want to see what it fits in. I don't actually carry this bag, um, but I just want to see. Here is the iPhone 7 Plus. So slipping it down, there is the back compartment. I do use that one. If I carry this bag, I do use that compartment because it's obviously very smooshy and vintage. So I don't, don't worry about it being stretched out. So that fits nicely. Opening up the double flap. We can see here in the front. Perfect. So in the front compartment there. And then in the main body compartment, obviously it will fit down inside there as well just nicely so there that is in my double flap I'm doing this to show you guys I don't use this bag but I'm doing it to show you uh, did I use my six without a cover yeah I did so that's my six without a cover in the back iconic little slip pocket there now I'm pretty sure oh yeah not gonna fit so there's the, the seven plus it's not going in there and it wouldn't go in there even if I had a cover. It's definitely not going in there at all. So that is all my bags bar one that I have uh, that I know that the plus will, I wanted to check if it will fit in. Bar one. So this is my Capucines BB in the noir black to really in leather with the silver hardware. And um, I'm just using this at the moment, so I just wanted to, uh, I know that it fits because I've obviously been using my phone. So there it is in the back pocket, exactly like my 7, oh sorry, exactly like my 6, it fits the 7 Plus. And then in the front compartment, it fits as well, my 7 Plus fine. So that's in the BB size. However, the ultimate culprit. I'm also switching out my bag, so I'm going to unpack this bag as well. So, I will tell you, down inside my bags, this is my kind of catch-all necessities pouch. If I have kind of gift vouchers, my little brush, hair ties are always in here. I have my new Vuitton perfume. Oh, that's touched to it. In the tubulances, I have a pacifier for my baby. I have my Chanel lip balm and I have some gift certificates down inside. So that is it empty, the mini pochette from Louis Vuitton in Damier bin. I will tell you that an iPhone 6 perfectly fits down inside of it. Now I wouldn't necessarily have all that stuff in it and have my iPhone 6 in there. But if you were planning on carrying this as like a little, I don't know, a clutch to go out for night or go out to lunch or dinner, put some hair ties down there, a lip balm with it, um, and maybe your car key and um, what else? You've got your phone, a little bit of cash just folded. I'm totally looking around for my car key. Here is my car key, even with my little uh, drag-on strap on it. So you can put that and zip that up perfectly. However, <laughs> that is a six. Um, so that means that the iPhone 7 will fit as well in a mini pochette. 
However, I can already tell you, I just can feel it in my bones that the iPhone 7 Plus, so the iPhone 6 Plus as well, yeah, and a lot of Galaxy. So I think all the Samsungs are the size of the Plus. Maybe there's another Samsung that's not this size. So it doesn't fit. So the Plus doesn't fit in a mini pochette. Therefore, pretty much any little pochette, so the uh, toiletry uh, 15 won't fit in it either. Although the 15 is a little bit longer because it's 15 centimeters, but I don't, I'm not quite sure. If you have that, you can let me know. Uh, I do have my eyes on that because it is so cute. And probably you would need the medium O case from Chanel for the plus to fit in that as well. But nevertheless, the six does fit. So that means that the seven will fit on its own inside a mini pochette. I get asked that so much. Okay, just pulling out some of my wallets here because this I really did carry my iPhone 6 in these wallets and I had shown that it fits nicely. So here is my Louis Vuitton Emily wallet and it fits really nice. I've put it in the main compartment there. I've put it in this back slit before. Obviously the large compartment down the back it fits and in the zipper it fits as well. So that is my Emily. So here is my iPhone 7 Plus in the large compartment. Oh, I shouldn't drop it, Jerusha. So in the large compartment, it fits in this back. Oh, bit of a squeeze, but it fits if I needed to put it there. It fits. And then in the big back compartment. Oh, oh, a little bit of a squeeze. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a big squeeze. Well, I mean, look, that's probably stretching it a bit to try and do it up. And then if I had cards and cash in there, uh, I don't think it fits in this back pocket too well, actually. So only in this main body compartment would I put the iPhone 6. Oh, only in this middle compartment. God, I keep getting it wrong. Would I put the iPhone 7 Plus with actual cards and whatnot? for the Emily so it fits nicely not stretched. Okay here is my beautiful Louis Vuitton Josephine wallet in Damier Ibin. It is a flat lay wallet but it's trifold but it flat it's flat lay when it opens and then when if I carried my six in it it would always just go down the back pocket because I'd have everywhere else full. So which we just saw on the Emily it does fit but I'm wondering if it would be the same Okay, so here we go down that main compartment that goes all the way down the back there. You can see. So the phone's down here. But see, the thing is, if you have stuff in it, I mean, you're joking yourself if you think, nah, see, that's going to stretch it. No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. Does it fit in this? Oh, it's stretched there too. Look. <laughs> Maybe if you take the money pouch out, ah, okay, look, if you were in a push to put your iPhone Plus, like whatever it is, 6 Plus or 7 Plus in your Josephine wallet, if you really, really wanted to just go to dinner with it and maybe you had your, you know, it didn't have a house key or whatever, then you can take out the money compartment, the little coin pouch comes out of a Josephine and you can put the phone, the Plus will fit in there that way but that's really the only way you would do it okay and lastly my absolutely favorite wallet ever my Louis Vuitton zippy compact wallet in the flat lay the original style and I always put my six in it and zipped it up or I put it down in the big money compartment and then zipped it up that way that's how I carried my six so yeah oh the zippy compact wallet is the size of the iPhone 7 plus is it oh 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 girl it is in there snug that is like zipper to zipper really oh that's nice with a full zippy compact wallet, I still think it would fit. It won't fit 
probably down in the money compartment. Yeah, no, nah, that's too too long. But laying inside the Zippy Compact Wallet, it does fit. That's really nice to know. So the pluses do fit in it, thus meaning it will fit in the Zippy Wallet, so the all-around Zip Wallet, the accordion style, it will fit. I don't know if it will fit in the accordion style of the new Zippy Compact Wallet. Maybe the gussets would stop it, but it's nice to know it fits in here. That's really good to know. Okay, sorry if the light just drastically changed it. As I said, a huge thunderstorm is coming over the top, which is good. If it's going to get cold, that is good. If it's just going to be a humid thunderstorm, that is no bueno. So, I hope that video was helpful. If you're maybe thinking or planning on getting a, an iPhone 6 Plus or a, the large Galaxy, Samsung Galaxy, I don't know what the numbers are, but if you're thinking of getting a phone that size, that was a few of my items that it does and doesn't fit in for my own benefit as well because I didn't really know and I had never really had my hands on a Plus. I've never picked up anyone's Plus and played with it. Uh, you definitely need two hands to hold it. I used to sort of, you know, jot away emails with one hand with my six. You definitely have to hold it with two hands with the iPhone 7 Plus because Look, you don't want to drop these things, okay? It's an expensive, it's an expensive task to keep replacing screens and trust me, I know because I've cracked quite a few. That is it. That is what my iPhone 7 Plus fits in video of my luxury goods. I hope it was helpful for you. It's good to see you guys again. Again, sorry I was a little bit MIA. As well, I have started my clean eating back again. Tons and tons of water. Uh, it's a little bit harder this time, obviously, because I have a baby. So in between rushing around and trying to eat clean and trying to eat good, wholesome food is sometimes a little bit difficult if you're in and out with your child, as I'm sure a lot of you know. Uh, I also want to take the time to say thank you so much to everyone who emails me and asks questions about uh, weight loss journeys and whatnot. I still get so many emails that come in about that. If you have emailed me and I haven't responded, I do apologize. Apologize, sorry, life is crazy uh, with a baby now, but uh, good luck to you, good luck to me. I think as women, it is so empowering and supportive to be behind each other and realize that look, we're pretty bloody awesome. We not only, you know, have cycles, get pregnant, carry the baby, give birth to the baby, however your birth story goes, uh, and then raise the child. You're always the mother, you know, and I said this to my friend actually the other day is that you're always the mother. You're like the tree of life for this human. And no matter what everyone does, they always give it back to you. They always give the baby back to you. You know, my husband might go off to work and so it goes, he's, you know, he's mussy and, and Nana's finished, so he's mussy and my mother-in-law. So it's always, you know, you're its mother. And I think we're phenomenal, <laughs> but it's always nice to just take your time out and, and do things for yourself, i.e. getting my body back into shape back to where I was last year, where I was really, really happy. I had definitely put all that weight back on plus uh, when I was pregnant. Uh, so it's, it's gonna be a journey again, but I'm excited to do it. So clean eating is back on, it is back on hardcore. So I might keep you up to date with that. Uh, I do also post on Instagram about what I'm eating or I, I try to. Uh, but yeah, if you haven't seen my clean eating video, I will link it below for you guys to take a look um, at what I did to originally lose my weight a year ago, but then obviously I got pregnant, put it back on, and we're back at the beginning again. I'm not worried. I'm just going to take the same steps I did in that video. And yeah, so thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, guys. I do hope you enjoyed it. I am loving my new phone, the uh, iPhone 7 Plus. I'm loving the size. I think it is really, really great. If you're thinking about it, go in and just put your hands on it. I had never really held one, uh, but you do now know what it does and does not fit in luxury wise, which is really our gig and what we like to know. Uh, I will be back with another video as soon as I can. I'm not going to promise anything. I do have 
a growing lust list though and wish list like it just when you sort of step back you just start to compile like oh I might like this oh I might like that but some of the items especially from Vuitton are just not I can't get my hands on it especially in Australia so it's a bit frustrating um, but we're looking into that uh, but yeah maybe I'll be back with another wish list video that could be quite good or favorites or whatnot um, I will go back on my collection, my luxury bag collection video and look at your questions there because I know there was many, many questions on bags and fit, what fits, what doesn't fit and what do I like and what not. I will go back and look at that and take down some of the questions to do a Q&A on that. Uh, but yes, a bit in the works to do so I've got to get my skates on and get back filming and sort of get back into my regular routine. Uh, but I've missed you guys. I hope everybody is doing really well. Take care guys. Peace.